Hey everybody, Yellowtail here along with my fearless driver Copadope and today we're bringing you a little bit of ride-along footage courtesy of Kobe aka Science. Thanks buddy for putting it together for us and we'll just be breaking down the uh, film situation by situation, see what Cope's thinking, see what I'm thinking and hopefully learn from some of our mistakes. So without further ado, here we go on Noctis. Uh, I think right off the bat we start a little slow and then we do this crazy sky wheelie. Copadope, what's the best way to uh, avoid hitting this little wall down here? So since this game, I've discovered that if you look at the sky when you're driving over that curb, you'll glide right over it smooth as butter. <laughs> okay, so we'll do it a little smoother than our little sky wheelie, even though it added a little flair to us there. Uh, so we cleaned up one guy in transition, and now we're finally where we're supposed to be, bought a monument at uh, Noctis, but since we're a minute late, uh, we get a quick monument cap, and it looks like the south garage needs a little help, and there's a guy in the open, so you're going to take us over there. Let's see what's going on. We've got a lucky splatter there. <laughs> that looked like a skillful splatter to me, I don't know what you're talking about. So, way to go. Driver takes out one, the gunner will take out the other. Looks like I see a couple in overpass, so I'm just going to go ahead and feather the trigger, letting Copadope know that I've got some targets over there I want to see, and he'll put me in position to uh, be effective and take those enemies out. Yeah, at this point we're just trying to help out our buddies here who are pushing from the garage and defending people coming from their base. Yeah, it looks like a pretty quick start for the rest of the squad, even though the backup hog was a little late to uh, the enemy transition from their elite prime. So we're just going to set up out here, and looks like we're triple capped already, so we kind of have an idea of where everyone's going to spawn from. So we can go ahead and take control of these two Hydra soldiers and set up our hunting lines. Yeah, we have a little bit of time here where we're not really directly in the action but just trying to clean up any floaters or anybody that gets through our front lines yeah it looks like at this point we're just providing uh, support and transition and just calling out anything we see and responding to call outs from the friendly squads but it looks like everyone's feeling a little confident so we're gonna make a little front push on this core here I think we definitely run into a bunch of uh, enemy hogs on this one, so yeah, they try I, I, that was something happy. <laughs> I think at one point we're chasing two hogs, one without a gunner, but we'll come up to that in a little bit. But Copadope's keeping me alive here, he's showing you how to keep your gunner safe, he's going to take a nice stop behind this blue trash truck just to keep my shield super healthy. As we can see the enemy really is starting to cluster outside of their two doors right there. Yeah, those garbage trucks are excellent cover for driver and gunner on this map. Yeah, it looks like you really know what's going on with those covers out there. It looks like we only have to worry about one damn base so far, so that's pretty cool. Looks like it's butter so far. So we yeah. have our first enemy. Oh, there you go. Rely on the support from uh, the other squads and keep your aim steady, and we'll just scare him right out of his left door, right back into his right door. <laughs> That's what I love about the hog. If you do it right and your squads are all working around you, you definitely can kill anything real quick and have a lot of support. Yeah. Now with the ghost jockey here, I don't want to get too close with the hog because if you draw aggro yeah. on them, they can tear you up pretty quick. Yeah, they definitely get you going. And it looks like we had an enemy hog cruising right behind him too. So, yeah, so as a... Pr as a priority, I could have switched over to him a little more, but it looks like uh, I got a lot of help from the other squads and took him out real quick. Once we got him softened up, it was pretty easy to go in and finish him off. Yeah. So now we're just going to keep ours going. Oh, we're going to send a little meat Sarge's way right there, throw him a body. <laughs> Looks like we got some more, what is that, we got some gunners out there shooting at us from the mouth of their door. But we're going to go ahead and keep it steady and uh, scare him away. We got bodies raining from the sky, from the man cannons. Looks like we got everything pretty wrapped up here. And you're just going to maintain your hunting line, which is perfect. Yeah, the main idea here is just to keep them from getting out of their base. 
Nah, it looks like the uh, trash truck to trash truck right here is working for us. So I think this is the first hog that actually challenges us. And uh, as you can see, it doesn't last very long. When you're gunning in hog versus hog situations, you just want to trust your driver. Just know that he's getting you to where you need to be to be safe and keep your aim nice and steady and nice and high. Because I feel like whenever I aim super high, it draws the bullets down a little bit more than what I'm actually aiming and you get the kills a lot faster. So we're just going to continue our lines here. Looks like a pretty straightforward video. Uh, looks like all the assault squads are moved up here to the mouth and we're just not gonna get ourselves hurt too bad by heading in yet. Yeah, we don't have a super strong push going yet, so we're not yeah. gonna go too far into the base. Exactly. You took the thought right out of my mind and that's what the best hog duo can do. Oh, here we go. Here's the two, uh, the hogs in pursuit. Yeah, we gotta chase down some weeds The hog's here. gonna panic throttle off into the ditch. Yeah, so... Looks like we'll clean this guy up, and it looks like the other guy panic throttled into the ditch. So I think he's gotten himself in a precarious situation. We'll just investigate here a little bit. Yeah, he's overturned and stuck. The driver is going to stay in the vehicle for some reason. <laughs> and we're just going to put shots down on the gunner. Now that he's neutered, okay, I'm going to do the unadvised thing of jumping out of the hog and getting after him. So if you're the gunner, guys, just trust your driver and stay in. You don't need to go ramble like I did right there. It but can be a little tough when you're shooting <laughs> down because aiming down is not the best angle for the hog gunner. Yeah, definitely. It's The hardest thing to do is when you're up close to an enemy and he's below you. So the driver definitely knows what's up and gives me the amount of space I can have to effectively aim downward. At this point, we get a little more adventurous because we have that wraith out front. Yeah, well, it looks like an Oni Hog. We're going to go ahead and counter battle him. We're just taking fire left and right. I don't know how I'm not dead, but I just attribute it to awesome driving. It's what I attribute it to. I think that's accurate. <laughs> yeah. And you can see whenever I run into any fire resistance, I'm going to turn and face that resistance. Oh, here we go. A little barrel roll action. You can cannon away. Yeah, we don't, I, no I need really, to follow that. I really did want to chase him down and steal that Oni Hog, but at this point, he's way out of play. Yeah. At this point, he's behind our enemy lines. We're, we got him triple capped, and he'll either be taken out by AI or something else. Excellent work, Spartan. All right, that's what looking like it's ending. So thanks everyone for watching and make sure you hit that subscribe slash like button for more Halo Wheelmen content you're not going to want to miss in the future. Thanks again and we'll see you on the battlefield.